Good afternoon, good morning, I think, 11.35. Good morning, today we're going to be analyzing polynomial functions, all right? And can I get a solo? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Louder. Yeah, Louder. Yay, math. Louder. Yay, math. Louder. Yay, math. Thank you. Math, yay. All right. Yay, math. You guys are very original. <laughs> yay, math. <laughs> <laughs> yay, math. Great. Pass. Yay, math. Nice one. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, mom. Wow. You're underwater. Yay, yeah, for you? Yay, yeah, math. That was very original. What about you? Pass. What about you? Yay, yeah, math. The question. What about you? Yay, yeah, math. With a little flick of the hair. What about you? Yay, yeah, math. Yay, yeah, math. is like home skill style. What about you? Yay, yeah, math. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, you're mad. Yeah, you're mad. All right. So I'm going to need uh, your cooperation and attention. This is a very theoretical concept, and uh, it takes some thought, but you're going to get it. All right. So first and foremost, let's talk about the parabola. Y equals x squared. All right. What does y equals x squared look like? A parabola. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Okay, so notice. Parabola, let's do it in red. And now, first we're going to start defining some terms. The degree of this term is a degree 2. This is a second degree function. All right, the degree is the biggest power, so degree two. So y equals x cubed would be degree three, three a third degree function. x squared, a second degree function, the biggest power. So x cubed, third degree function, it could be like this, x squared plus two x, you know, on and on, but this is still a third degree function, it's the biggest power, all right? So we're focusing on the biggest power. Okay, imagine this was another one. x cubed plus x squared plus 2x equals 0. This is a third degree function because the biggest power is a 3. Okay, any other questions about that? Feel free, it's okay. Yes? So that one's a second degree power? This is a second degree function. Even if it had plus x or plus 9 or whatever, it's still second degree function because of the biggest power. All right, so second degree function and third degree function and on and on. Now that we've defined the term, now let's look at this. We are going to describe what's called the end behavior. Okay, end behavior. End behavior. That's not how you behave when you're about to die or anything. Based on the degree? End behavior is the based on the degree, correct. All right, here we go. End behavior always begins with the following phrase. As, why don't I make it bigger? Here we go. As x approaches infinity. Okay. F of x. Do you care that you're out of frame right Approaches. Uh, yeah, I do, but I'm, on, I'm cool on the screen. Don't no, you're sweat. not. Even on the screen, when you're writing, no, like, he's not but your writing. Don't worry, it's all good. I'm, I'm good at this spot. Don't worry. Thank you. Long Thank long you. Long. We got a rookie, everyone. Welcome the rookie. Yay! Yay. <laughs> all right, rookie, we got it covered. Enjoy us. Enjoy us. Enjoy the process. The math is important. It's not, I'm, it's not about me. It's about the education. All right. <laughs> So f of x, remember f of x is another way of saying y, okay? So when we say f of x, we're thinking y. Notice, focus on the red. Do you agree that as we progress up this parabola, this point and this point and this point, x is getting larger and larger? Yeah. Yeah. x is getting larger, thus x is going towards infinity. x is getting bigger and bigger, all right? So on each point, as x gets bigger and bigger, what's happening to y? Why is, why is getting bigger, bigger, smaller bigger. or bigger here? Bigger. bigger. So why is also approaching infinity? infinity. Yeah. And uh, just so you know, 
White. The symbol for infinity is an eight on its side. It's like a mask, Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you call it? You still call it f of x? You don't f of x is another way of calling a y. I say y, but the book you'll see f of x. It's the function of x. So it doesn't matter? Stick with f of x. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm writing it. And then the second half of this statement, as x approaches negative infinity. All right. We'll say that f of x approaches something. Negative. We'll do that and we'll call it out. Hold on. No, just hold on for a sec. All right. Here, x is approaching negative infinity because, noticing, every point on this parabola for x is getting smaller or bigger here? Smaller. Smaller, right, because we're going to the left. People think it looks like it's getting bigger. Oh, why is so Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you. So, I know you're eager, it's good, it's good. Because if you're one step ahead, then everyone won't have a chance to think, okay? So I appreciate it. So, if uh, x is getting bigger and bigger in this case, excuse me, x is getting smaller and smaller in this case because we're moving to the left, what's happening to y here? It's getting bigger. Is y getting bigger or smaller as we go from point to point? Smaller. Why is smaller? Smaller. 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 <laughs> smaller. Dilemma. Why is still getting bigger? bigger? Why is bigger? If y bigger. goes down, oh, then why, it gets why, smaller. X, no, it why is bigger? I yeah. Is X is getting small because this point, let's say this point is negative 1 something for X, and this is negative 3 something for X. So X went from negative 1 to negative 3 to negative 5, let's say. So X is getting smaller and smaller. So that's getting to negative infinity. But y is getting bigger because we're going up. So f of x approaches positive infinity as well. Wait, but I thought that y is getting, I thought they're both getting smaller. Look at it closely. This point to this point to this point. Now in terms of left and right, we went to the left, right? <coughs> so is that smaller for x or bigger? Smaller. smaller. So as x is getting smaller, going to negative infinity. Now this point to this point, think of y. Is y getting bigger or smaller? Bigger. From here to here. Did we go up? That's y. Right? That's up. Mm. Did we go up? Mm. So y is getting bigger. Mm -hmm. As x is getting smaller, y is getting bigger. As x is getting smaller, f of x or y is getting bigger. And what would be the top? As X is bigger, so does Y? Yes. So this is, we just described the end behavior of a parabola, which is an even function. Even meaning the degree is 2. Okay? The degree is 2. Let's... So it would be an odd function so if it's they, X to the third. Right. Good. That's exactly where I was going. If you have X squared and then whatever after it, or X to the 4 and then something after it, or X to the 6 and something after it, those are called even functions. Even. Okay. And then an odd function would be x to the third, no, third or x to the how about, nine. How about the ninth or fifth? The Seven. Still any by number by it's even. What if any it's a prime number? Odd or even? It doesn't matter. What about so even if it's negative? X is so odd. X, and x to the one. Like yeah. Odd. So x to the second is even, x to the fourth is even, x to the third is odd, all right? So we just did the end behavior for a parabola. Now I want to show you some more. All right, check out this shape. What if you had something like this? Okay. There is, there are certain distinctions about even versus odd functions. The last one we did was an even function and it was a parabola, okay? If we had a negative parabola, it would go down like this, That's to the third. right? Now, there are certain distinctions of even functions. Even functions, always, the way I see it, always begin and end towards the same direction. So notice, it starts, it comes, out from the sky like this, does its thing, and then it goes back to the sky. So this is an even function. Even. Right? This would be, in fact, something like x to the fourth, correct? Okay. And can someone say yes or no? 
Is the end behavior of this the same as the parabola we just did? Yes. Mm. Yes. The end behavior is the same as the parabola we just did. Because the parabola kind of looked like this. End behavior, it's like... Because they're both going up. They both they're go both up, like, yeah. As X bigger. gets bigger, Y gets bigger here. As X gets smaller, Y also still gets bigger here. But if it's odd, so it's now opposite. we're going to do odd. What about if it was X to the third? Because then it Read my mind. Down. Ready? Mm -hmm. Then it goes up and then down, right? So, an odd end behavior would be something along the lines of this. Yeah. An odd what? An odd degree function, excuse me. So this is called an odd degree function. So this would be something like x to the third. Third, right. So they began and in different directions. Different directions, correct. So let's do the end behavior of this one together quickly. So what's the first part of end behavior as? As, as x, x as is getting x approaches infinity, infinity. Well, f, f of x negative. approaches negative. No, infinity. No, infinity. infinity. Oh, as okay. x approaches negative infinity, f of x also approaches negative infinity. As x approaches negative infinity, here x is getting smaller and smaller because we're moving to the left. F of x f of x approaches negative infinity as well. So this will always be the end behavior of something odd and positive. Okay. And this will be the end behavior of something even and positive. So we've defined odd and even. This is odd. Yeah. Sorry? Even, begin and end in the same direction. Mm -hmm. Odd, begin and end in opposite directions. Oh. Okay? One more term to talk about, and then we're, we, got it, we got it done. All right? Remember the parabola that opens up. Okay? So was that a positive function or a negative function? Wait, which parabola? The parabola we did at the very beginning. Positive. Positive. Positive, positive. positive it opens up, right? If it's negative, it opens down. Negative, it opens down. We've talked about that. We talked about when A is positive or negative. So is this positive or negative? Positive. So it's a positive, even function. All right. This one will also be a positive, uh, odd function. And the way you can tell it's positive when it's odd is if it kind of, think of it like a, uh, the way I think of it, like a stock market chart thing. You can do something like this. Like you start from the bottom. Start at the bottom, yeah, and kind of going like that. So this is a positive. All right? And then if it goes something like... If it goes it, down. It goes down, you got it. So you guys tell me, last problem. Can you show this one that goes down? Excellently sure. All right, I'll give you two, and you tell me what they are. And then we're done. So let's look at... All right, Tom, okay. wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's do it. This one is odd or even? Even. 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 Positive or negative? Negative. negative. Very good. Even. 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 Negative. So even they both go the same way. Even they both go the same way. This one is odd or even? Odd. 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 Yeah. Wait, I don't get it. How do you know? Like even both and end in the same direction. Oh, is that negative? Uh, and negative, yes. Wait, if they end in the, the same Why direction, is that one what? Negative, if they end in the same direction, it's an even function. Why is the one on the right negative? Because, like, going down. because it starts high from the left and it ends low, and it ends low on the right. So it always goes from left to right? Yes, read it left to right. I can explain it a different way, but I think that's an easy way to understand. So that one a positive? Is the one on top of that positive? This is positive, right on. So what's the other way? These are all four scenarios. Even positive, even negative, odd positive, odd negative. So we got all of them. Right. If they're both going the same direction, it's even. Positive, negative. If both are going down. Right. Wait, you guys, we gotta end with the A now. You guys, hold on, hold on. Relax. Welcome to the world of classroom where it's lunch and everyone wants to get out. I know. Just give it a minute. Give it a minute. It's funny. I love this job. Do your job. So, last question was, if it starts high and ends low like this, that's negative. Wow.
But if they end in different directions, either way, it's odd. Yeah, these all four scenarios are here. Thank you, everyone. Give yourself a hand. Woo, you guys. Yay, man. One more time. Bye. Yay, man.